I'm going to redesign my Easy Web Design Tutorials website. And I'm going to use the WordPress importer exporter plugin to move content from my online site to an offline development site. So I'm going to go into the back end. I'm going to go to tools and export. And I want to export everything here. You can see various options that I can choose what I want to export, but I want to take all of it. So I'll just click download export file. So that is then downloaded to my downloads folder. I have created a offline development site. You see it says development here. I have included various plugins. So the plugins that I need uh, from my online site is for instance enhanced media library because I have a lot of images not for the moment here on this development site there's nothing here and media categories are empty and I can go to posts there's basically only hello world and the post that comes along with the first install of a new WordPress site and there's also no categories and I will look at the pages. Uh, we have some pages here. This has to do with a give plugin and also Ninja Forms. And this is just a sample page. And I can go to, for instance, menus. And I have no menu. So I made sure that my plugins I'm going to use are in place. And then I will import the XML file we see right here. So we'll go to Tools and Import. And it is a WordPress site, so we'll click WordPress. And then Install Now. There are also other options, and I will list that in the, the description for this video. Activate plugin and run importer. I'll show you what it import and, and what it does not import because we'll get images in place and also posts and pages should be in place. So choose file. I need to find it. It is an XML file right here. Okay, we got the right one. open and upload file and import. So Im import author, I will just made a little change here. And I want to download and import file attachments. Submit. And it takes a little while because I think there are around 300 images. So you can see nothing here, but when you look up here in the tab, you can see it's working. If you allow tabs open, just click another tab and you'll see the spinner right here. And I will just pause it in a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the message it gave. All done, have fun. Let's say I have forgotten to install give a donation a plugin. It would be giving me some errors here, just telling me that it would, would not be able to uh, uh, import give donation information. So that's why I need to be sure that I have the various plugins installed here so that everything runs smoothly. So let's check it out. I'll go to media library. I should have lots of images here and that I do. I will also just click an image and we have the title, caption, alt text and description in place and that's really really nice. And we also have this media categories here as you see in place. So that looks like it's okay. Uh, I will go to click media categories get that in place. I will click my posts. 
I have seven pages of posts uh, or tutorials here. So that uh, looks like it's okay. Uh, 138. Um, I can also check online, see if that's the correct amount. Pages. Okay, looks like I got my various pages in place. So we're going to go to Appearance and then uh, Menus. We also have the menu structure in place, but I need to now then select the theme location for it, which is primary menu and save menu. When I go to, for instance, widgets, this is just the standard uh, sidebar uh, widgets that come along. So I gotta be sure I have the correct theme selected. So we'll go to themes. 2016 is selected because I forgot to activate my custom uh, theme. So activate that and I'll go back into widgets. So I know for my online site, I'll go to appearance widgets. I have a lot of uh, widgets in the home bottom section here. So we'll go into uh, development site, home bottom, and you see it's blank. So the standard WordPress importer exporter does not uh, take along with widget settings. So we need another plugin to be able to export and then import widget settings. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go online. I'll go to plugins and add new. And there are two uh, widget importer exporter plugins I know of, but I'm just going to write widget importer and see what comes up. So we have this one right here and we have another one right below. So you can choose whichever one you want. The one here also has a UI where you can basically check off which widgets you want to export and import. And I really like that screen it in includes, so I'm going to install that. And I'm going to also install it, activate plugin here, and quickly jump to my development site and I'm going to install the same plugin here on my development site that I have offline. So widget importer and we're going to include this also in my offline site. So activate this as well. I'm going to go back online and I just want to see that it's in place and we see right here which data settings import export plugin so we'll go to tools and widget settings export so here I can basically choose which export I want to export I'll just do all select all active widgets which is basically selecting everything here and export widget settings so we have the widget setting here. I need to go to my offline site, development site, tools, and import, import widget settings. Select the file. We have the widget data. And show widget settings. Select all active widgets. Import widget settings. So we're going to go and check that this works. Go to widgets. And let's see, home bottom. Looks like I got all the sections in place. So this is also tiny MC Black Studio widget that I installed as a plugin. So things that are not included is then as I told as I said the, the menu location I put that as primary I'll go to also go to settings and then to reading 
I need to put here my for my front page displays and that is then the home and post is then the blog save changes and I think okay one more thing since I'm using Genesis here I also have theme settings for Genesis that are not included in here so either I'll just manually copy what I have online to the offline or I can install a um, theme settings export widgets. I'll include some uh, plugins uh, so you can see others you can choose from. By the way, there's also a new project for that being worked on for the WordPress importer, and I'll also give links for that.